Welcome to the Division Analysis. This is Fog, and today we're doing a deep dive into Armor Plate. What is it? What are the most effective strategies against it? And what damage does it take? Guaranteed you are going to learn something. Armor Plating. You will see this icon above an enemy's head. It means that it is shielded from damage to everything behind it until that armor plate has been destroyed and only then can you attack the health that's behind it. You'll see it on Black Tusk, Hyena, True Sons, all the tanks and heavies from each of the factions. The Warhounds, you'll see it on the Rushes, Hyena and Cleaner. Hyena Shield guys, True Sons and Rikers heavies in their helmets. Let's start with the heavies. Now I've just pulsed here and you can see the armor plates on the enemy. Now, although it appears as if there's many gaps within those plates, there are actually six solid plates. One for each of the limbs, the chest, and the head. Each one of these plates can be destroyed, and only then will you be able to strike the enemy's true health that lies behind it. Every time you strike an armor plate and destroy it, the enemy will receive a stagger, giving you a further opportunity to then focus on the newly weakened spot. The Riker's heavies have a shield, and behind that they have armor plating as well. But just like any other heavy, those plates can be destroyed, and each time one is destroyed, the enemy will stagger. You can also shoot through the shield window and strike at the enemy. Now, if you're doing it for the first time, I am using my test build, which I created to remove as many variables as possible, provide consistent numbers, and provide a platform for comparison of weapons when that time comes. In the previous videos, I've shown how to calculate uh, damage in game. Uh, in the last uh, videos we did uh, both uh, damage for health and also damage for uh, armor. In the case of heavies they are always out of cover and so these figures will help us determine exactly what damage is being done. Now the head plate prevents us from hitting the head so therefore we don't do any uh, headshots and therefore these are the only numbers that we should concern ourselves with. To see what damage is actually being absorbed by those plates. We have the Black Tusk, he Black Tusk Heavy, and if you've already been paying attention then you will notice that it is in fact health damage that those armor plates are taking. This next video is slowed down just to show you that there is no headshot damage and right about now you'll see the armor change color on the Black Tusk Heavy. This is a unique mechanic to them. Um, it signifies that uh, two thirds of that uh, plate has been destroyed. In the case of the Black Tusk Heavy, it's about 10 million damage for the chest and the head, and about 6.5 million for the armors. The most effective strategy though is to destroy one plate and then continue to drill that same spot so that you do the damage directly to the enemy's health after that plate's gone. But if you want to avoid all that noise, go straight for the weak points. For the True Sun's Heavy, you've got the armor, also the grenade box on the back. Once it's destroyed, it destroys his chest plate, turns him into a shotgunner. Easy. 
For these guys, you can destroy the weak point on their shield and blind them, but that's completely useless. Um, you want to hit the tanks on the back. You can do that through the shield window, or preferably if you can flank them and destroy both those tanks. Sends an explosion through them, and uh, explosions are absorbed by every armor plate on the body, so it will weaken every plate. For Black Tusk Heavies, the weakest point is by far and away their backpack. And you can go through their back the easiest. These guys have some very cool mechanics. The cleaners. You'll see he's got a flamethrower and he's just about to throw a Molotov cocktail. Here he goes. So if you destroy the red box on his right leg, he's no longer able to throw Molotov cocktails. If you destroy the oxygen tank on his left leg, he'll take his mask off and it also sends a large explosion through all of his armor. I don't give him enough time to take his mask off. I blow up the tank on his back, which uh, makes his flamethrower inactive. He throws it away and he takes out an axe. Once you destroy a weak point, it doesn't work anymore. Go straight to the killing. Shield bearers. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. This guy has a red bar. He has health behind that shield. And if you've been paying attention, you will notice that uh, his shield is taking health damage. And you may be uh, excused for thinking that all armor plating is health damage. But let me get rid of that guy and show you on this guy who has armor behind the shield. We're no longer getting our 150 plus and our 360 on crits. We're now looking at a much smaller number. So it's not health damage anymore. 127k and 305k. It's actually less than our armor damage. So what's actually going on here? Same calculations take place, but somewhere along the line, there was no coding for damage. It's literally just damage to target out of cover and that's it. And that gives us our 127k and our crit goes on. So it's a truly unique damage. I'm going to call it armor plate damage from here on in. It is less than damage to armor and it is less than damage to health. Or doesn't it's not health and it's not armor damage. It's its own unique damage type. If you didn't already know, the hyenas uh, shield guys do not have any army plating behind the shield, so you can just go straight to their health bar through the shield window. Rushes. If you didn't need any more evidence that it's a truly unique multiplier, here I am shooting a shield, getting armor plate damage values, so no health, no armor. And if you didn't already know, the weakness to these guys is that their shield is short and you can shoot them in the uh, feet. But now I have removed the armor from this rusher. So essentially now the only thing that sits behind the shield is health. And when I start firing again, lo and behold, the shield is now taking health damage. So the question begs to be asked, is the coding wrong that it doesn't include armor damage? Or is the coding wrong that it's ever been including health damage? Now I'm going to whip through these guys, the hyena rushes. Um, the same principle applies. If there's armor behind their helmet, then the helmet will take the armor plate value damage. If there's only health behind it, then it will take health damage. But I'm not going to spend too long because just don't shoot them in the helmet. And then we have our heavy weaponers. You have the Rikers and also the Crusades. Again, I'm going to speed through this because the same principles apply. 
this being a red bar, and this being a red bar means that there is health behind the helmet, which means that they are taking health damage. Once you destroy the helmet, you can then recommence doing both headshots and pure health damage. This is an interesting scenario. I'm currently doing armor plate damage to this heavy's helmet. Now that the helmet is gone, I'm now doing armor damage. And now I'm doing health damage. Three uniquely different damage values. Oh, and if you didn't realize, their weak point is the ammo box in the back, which makes them do the I've got bees all over me dance. My favorite, Warhounds. Three unique types. You have the Sniper Dog. You have the Turret Dog. And you also have the Grenadier Dog. Each with their uh, unique uh, weapons and also features. But something that is common to all of them is that they have an armor plate on both sides of them and on their turret and you must destroy that armor plate before you can do pure health damage against them. Now something that is unique to Warhounds only is leg damage. You can also bypass the armor plating and go straight to health by shooting them in the legs. But the damage is significantly less. Here's the damage that we are supposed to be doing with health damage, and here's the damage that we're actually being awarded. So what's going on? We have our base weapon again, times our weapon damage. There's no total weapon damage, and we are still doing damage to health. The target is still out of cover. And we should be getting 154.585. Instead, we're hit with a 90% damage reduction. And that reduces it down to only 15,459. And then we had a 230,000 crit. So what's happening here? We have base damage, weapon damage. We're still doing damage to health. We go all the way through to here and our crit damage at 139.2%, we're actually getting that full value. But we then go back, and we still suffer that 90% reduction of the base value, and these two figures now combine to create a new value, which makes crit chance incredibly important. But once again, if you want to avoid all of that, let's go straight to the weak points. So for sniper dogs, on their turret, they have a red box, hard to see in this light. So I've put a diagram up in the corner. But once you destroy that, they're then disrupted. It's clearer here. I accidentally destroyed his armor plate. But the red box, here it is, destroyed and is now disrupted. For sniper dogs, you can also go direct to health damage, avoiding the armor plate altogether by shooting them in the butt. They have no armor plate there. Here we are. Try to avoid getting shot in the face by a dog twice, it hurts. So here you can see, fully plated and straight to health damage. Then we have our grenade dogs. You can go straight to health damage, bypassing the armor plate, but not on the right side. You have to shoot the left side of the turret. Now, if you're playing solo, it's actually quite hard to see the left side of the turret because that turret follows you wherever you go. So unless you... Uh, it's not looking at you, you've surprised it, or you managed to immobilize it. But once you do, you can take all the time you need and get to that left side of the turret. There is another way to immobilize the grenade dogs. They have little red vents, stripes. They serve as weak points for the dog. I'll show you again all of them, front, side and rear as I run around this dog trying to get a look at the left side of its turret. Quite small and finicky trying to hit them. Once you do, the dog is essentially electrocuted, but it doesn't last for very long.
You can hit the front and the side and electrocute them. But I make it look easier in these test footage because it's actually hard to hit these things. <laughs> really hard. God damn it. Now we move to the turret dog. Now I have looked for a spot on this dog where you can do damage that bypasses the armor plate. I mean I have really looked. Someone told me the oh, I know, it's not that. I haven't been able to find one. It seems that everywhere is armor plated. But its weak points, these ball joints at the top of its leg, are very easy to hit and destroy. Immobilizing the dog, allowing you to either search for somewhere, which doesn't exist, or destroy the dog. And you can hit these weak points basically one after the other, even the same joint, over and over and over and over. Two pistol shots. That's all it takes. Very easy once you've got that first hit. And that's it. That is armor plating, deep dive. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, give it a like, comment, share, and I will see you in the next one.